Hello everyone, uh, today we'll be doing a different sort of video, one that I really haven't ever done before and we're going to be taking a look at an item that was just down here, there it is very interesting so this is going to be a sort of a semi -un unboxing, I have uh, unboxed this already but, uh, I think it's interesting to take a look at the box, this is well, I do believe this is the earliest form of box that there is for duck uh, in the Hornby range Let's see here, hmm. The complete world of Thomas the Tank Engine can be seen in the latest Hornby Railways catalog. Oh, latest, huh? Let's take a look, oh. Oh. Looks like we got a, well, we got a train well in his 30s. Anyway, this is the world of Thomas the Tank Engine. I'll just let you take a look at all that. Okay. Uh, some interesting things, if we look on the back here, we got this old Thomas illustration, and we got, oh, this is a bit of an interesting read. Thomas the Tank Engine, proceed, whole lot of rolling stock, whole lot of destinations, not a whole lot of engines I'm saying here. Actually, if you take a look at Hornsby his, uh, history, they have some questionable, well, they have some, they released their engines in a very questionable order, duck, uh, if I remember correctly came out before a lot of the engines under him, that is to say, number-wise. Well, let's take him out and take a look. I don't know if you guys like this sort of shot, but I love it. Will you pull it out? Ooh, just like that. He's a beauty. All right, let's put this back here and take a look at Hornby Duck. Okay. So, he is, well, he's just beautiful. And you might be asking, oh, well, why you get a Hornby duck? You could get a Bachman duck. Bachman's been making ducks for years now, really. I do remember when everyone had to get a Hornby duck if they wanted it to be in the little Thomas model series. You had to get a Hornby duck. I almost got one a few years ago for a price that was probably better than the one I got this for. But this one is, it's unused, and it's with its box, which is good enough for me. And one thing that I thought was really cool was if I just put this aside for just a moment, we'll come back to you. Uh, we'll take this off, and then look what we have here. Oh. We still have the lamp irons in the packaging with the box. That is something you don't see every day with one of these old engines. Definitely tells me that it's a pretty good nick. We have a very old general locomotive operation and maintenance instruction pamphlet from Hornby for Hornby Railways this is before well all their packages were read and all their trains were made in China let's take a look at that there it is made in Great Britain that's that old sign of quality I suppose those people who love to yearn for the good old days this one's for you anyway uh, Bachman Duck is an interesting model it's quite nice it's certainly very show accurate it's pretty impressive couple reasons I wanted to get the Hornby version, even though it is discontinued. First of all, it's got above and beyond more detail than the Bachman Duck. I mean, sure, the Bachman Duck is accurate to the show, but I don't know if I want it to be perfect to the show if it means, well, there's hardly any detail on it. If I'm paying such a price for a, an expensive locomotive like this, surely I would be wanting some good detail as well. And that's certainly what you have here, all the rivets and separately fitted parts. It's definitely special, something worth keeping an eye out for when you're buying model trains or really any toy especially in the Thomas line another reason was that I thought his face was much better I mean obviously there is everyone knows about the problem Hornby Duck's face is just too dark yes it's too dark I know but it still looks uh, if you ask me far more accurate than the face of the Bachman Duck to the or at least one of the faces of Duck in the TV show this is just a really good rendition of his face in, in the sculpt and the application of paint besides the dark shade of gray. Next reason is that I really enjoy this shade of green. I looked at the Bachman duck. It's a little more of a yellow shade of green. And I do understand that it is more accurate to the show, but I just, I just prefer this shade of green. I think it looks a lot better. Much more pleasing to the eye. If you let the light hit it, it just looks very soft around the edges. It's very, very pleasing to look at. And the next reason, it's tall. Bachman Duck is too flat and it's too short. That's enough of that. And then the final reason, wheels are nice and big. 
which is one of the reasons that Bachman duck is so short, is that his wheels are just so small. And I'm aware that that may be more accurate, but I just I wanted my biggest tank engine, well, to have the biggest wheels. Seems fair enough to me. He does have traction tires on the bottom there. Yeah, one be duck. Quite a nice little model. Another thing is that. Uh. All right, so we're back here. Um, take a look at a little motor there, if you're curious. Yeah, not something I expected to happen. You can see the face is actually held by two bits there. Those gray bits. You push them out very easily. I've already done it myself. Face is not difficult to remove. I know that was something I was curious about because what I'd like to do is well cast the face so I can keep the original and then make a new version with a little lighter face color so it's not too dark. Now I know I can do that, I suppose. Uh, here is the top shelf. If you notice from the last shot, the part that's missing is well this bit here. Some sort of weird you know, soft adhesive that uh, held it in place. Put it right there and well there it stays. And the reason I didn't want to remove it is, well, I saw it was all metal, and I figured, oh, well, hey, that's got to be part of the motor. I don't want to remove that, and the duct won't work anymore. You see, if I try to put them in right now, put this part in, it just won't close anymore. I have no idea what may have upset it or knocked it out of place, but it's just not, it just, it won't cooperate. So, what I ended up having to do is just, I was just too curious because I really, you know, I wanted to solve this problem. Uh, so I took this off, whatever this strange material is, put that inside, and then now I have plenty of room here. Put the shell back on. It fits. You know, it fits fine again. No more resistance. And I checked him on the tracks, and he works. So what's going on here? What? What is this for? What is this stuff made of? And. Why did it start acting up all of a sudden? Not very good, is it? Just got this thing out of the box after all. Come on. Come on now, Hornby. Anyway, let's start talking about some of the things I'd like to do to Duck. Like I mentioned earlier, I'd like to well, cast this face so I can keep the original and make a new lighter version. Uh, maybe I'll change the running board here to black. I know it is supposed to be black. I don't know if I'll change this top part to be white. I really don't care much if it's gray. I don't think it's a big problem. And, you know, I'll probably try to put the vacuum pipes on. Hopefully they won't break. Let's do the review a bit, hasn't it? Let's try and get him on the track and see how he runs. I already know, but you've got to see. So here's Duck on the tracks. He's looking quite smart. I'll give him a little bit of power here. Nope, starts to move and he stops. Try to tap him a little. Nope. See the wheels are moving. Oh. oh, a little bit. Very interesting, isn't it? Turn the power off here. Just doesn't look like he wants to cooperate. As you can see, it's got duck running fine here. Yeah, there you go. And uh, what's very curious is, well, first of all, this is his top speed. You always hear about how fast the Hornby models are. I suppose this is an older one. It's so quick. But the other interesting thing is, well, this is the only way to get him to really cooperate with the tracks. If you notice this bit right here, watch this. Oh. Now he's done it, hasn't he? Poor duck. Hey everybody, editing Gary here as I was editing this video. Uh, this is about, I don't know, maybe a week, week and a half since I shot this footage. Um, I've since been able to run duck around some more. And I've been taking a look at the problems with the slowing down of the paratrack for all engines and ducks general jerkiness. I did mention that some engines do improve after they've had some time to run and I'm happy to say that after after about a week he has definitely improved in performance and the track as it turns out was a different problem. Uh, you just needed to clean it. I got some steel wool. I know it's not great because it sort of leaves hairy bits around there but oh you need some sort of cleaning tool and get a cleaning car but I think the best investment would probably be one of those erasers and just rub it along the track there. That seemed to clear up the problems I was having, both with the logos on the power track and the duck's smoothness. So now I'm pleased to say that he's a decent runner and he runs just as well as the Bachman duck. All right, all that's left now is to do some train spotting with duck and we'll put on some nice music and I hope you enjoy that. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's any suggestions for anything else you want me to do with the engine and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.